Welcome, my name is Tishara and this is Starmade. Today I want to show you a bit about uh, the fleet I'm trying to build for the recent contest that was released. Um, the ship here in front of me is the first of uh, the ships that I wanted to add uh, to this fleet I'm developing. Um, basically this is my test bed to see what kind of style of ship I wanted to create uh, for this entry. So this is my first um, first attempt at uh, creating a style for the fleet. This ship itself tells a, a story as well, but it's not a story that's all that visible at the moment. And I will show you that in a bit, what I mean with that. But let's just explore a bit of the uh, outside of the ship first. We've got a number of engines here in the back, of course, as is uh, normal for a spaceship. A very big one in the middle and four smaller ones on the sides to give it enough thrust. And um, this ship is segregated in different modules. We've got the thruster section in the back. In the middle here we have the weapons and uh, there's power there as well. And then we have the connections for uh, connecting to a station or other ships and the front end for the pilots. There's also some living quarters in uh, in this area as well, small ones, because this ship is that big. I'll uh, show you a bit about what the interior is about. Let's go inside. Small airlock, it's manual controlled. We've got a teleporter here as well, so you can use, make use of the modern teleporting technology. Uh, this is the front end of the ship, so um, that's the cockpit and the living quarters I talked about just a minute ago. Uh, we've got the simple living quarters with beds and uh, some facilities here. And if you go through this door, then we are in the cockpit. A lot of space. You can sit here as a pilot and then, uh, look outside and do all the piloting things you need to do. What I wanted to add, add to this ship and especially to the interior is uh, small spaces that you can crawl into and uh, maintain your systems like this. We've got the AI and the faction module over here and make it, make it really accessible for, for engineers or other crew members to maintain this, this ship. You can see it in the back as well. Uh, we've got an engineering section over here that has all kinds of machinery for, uh, in this case, the engine, the thruster in the back, the big one. You can crawl uh, all around it. You can see here downstairs we have uh, some piping and other equipment stored as well that we can access through uh, hatches like this. So if you could take a look here, we can see that there's piping and stuff like that here. And here as well, we can go downstairs and work on the engine or something like that. Well, that's uh, the interior for this ship. Like I said, it's not a big ship. Um, but the story I talked about, that's something I wanted to show as well, but I need to do some editing for that, so I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Uh, this is my development platform. I did some experimentations with uh, designs for elements I wanted to, elements I wanted to use for for the ship. Um, this here is the main engine that I used for uh, the ship design, and this illustrates the way I. Uh, went about designing this ship. I wanted to make use of uh, 
basically real components that uh, would make up the ship. So this component here is based on a picture I've seen of a jet engine. Uh, it's somewhat similar, of course, uh, it's more uh, fantasy sci-fi of my own design, but it's a similar principle. Um, design the engine as a whole element and then uh, stuff some uh, some elements, uh, some, some truster uh, components inside to give a ship trust. This is a, a smaller engine, of course, uh, the ones I used on the side of the design. And uh, it has some uh, some nice uh, thruster uh, flaps on the back to give it a bit more detail. So these elements I designed first before I even started building the rest of the ship. And to illustrate how that turned out, uh, I cut the shit, uh, ship in half, and like this, it gives a good image of what the ship is capable of, what kind of system it has, and how I went about designing it. Um, as you can see, the thruster element, the main engine here in the back, takes up a considerable amount of, of room of the ship design. Uh, so that's that one. And as you can see, I just put a lot of thruster uh, blocks inside. Uh, I started with that, then I built the surrounding hull, and like I said, the ship is uh, in, uh, divided in sections. So this section over here, it's, it's a kind of uh, input for the jet engine uh, it's itself. I added the um, jump drive around it in the surrounding hull because I uh, thought it would be fitting to uh, group the uh, the types of, of, of uh, propulsion um, together for this ship. And then it connects to some type of other type of engine that is probably generating all the power that it's uh, needing for this, this big thruster on, on the back. And this section also houses the power generation of the ship and the shield generation of the ship. Uh, it's mainly in the double hull uh, that you don't really see all that much of here in the cross section. You see some power and, and, and uh, shield the renegation, renegation here. here. Um, then we have a section here for maintenance for the overdrive effect this ship has because it's a fast ship. Uh, I imagined it's something like uh, this overdrive mixing with the thrusters and then it will somehow connect it and put it into this engine then back to the thrusters over there. Uh, that, that, that's basically how yeah, I imagined this ship would work if it was real. And then we have the front section with scanners, so the scanners are connected to the antennas here in the front as well. And we have the smaller maintenance uh, hatch over here that I showed before with all the other um, computers in it, uh, like the AI. Uh, the top, you've already seen of course in uh, my walkthrough of uh, the interior, but it shows you the sections a bit more clearly now. Uh, it has some weapons. Uh, the turrets uh, above and below are uh, two main turrets to uh, keep your ship defended. Uh, they're not all powerful or something like that, but I don't imagine this ship as a pure military ship, more of a courier or exploration vessel uh, that a faction can use. It has some uh, anti-missile systems as well. It's uh, the regular anti-missile systems I basically use for everything uh, on ships I design uh, because uh, they're so compact. And uh, this is how I came to this design. So basically thinking of how a ship would actually work and how people would maintain it, how people would, would build it, and 
a sort of uh, form follows function ID. Uh, I plan to use the same design principle for the rest of the fleet ships as well, uh, depending of course how big the ships are, because a fighter is uh, probably a lot smaller than this and uh, might not have enough room to uh, to add maintenance uh, rooms like th the ship uh, this one uh, has. Um, but I will be using the same style, uh, the green hull and the grey. Um, so probably a fighter, a bomber of, of some sort, uh, perhaps a shuttle or a drone, and I think I'll build a freighter, dedicated freighter as well. I've got a um, design for a uh, cargo grade there as well, so uh, I'll probably integrate it, and I'll let you uh, know in a future update. So I uh, I hope you enjoyed this this sneak peek of my uh, fleet that I will be designing and uh, some insights of the uh, in the uh, design philosophy I'm trying to use for designing ships. Hope you enjoy and see you next time.